And they're trying to get it on the seven, and you see Hunter Hornets, they're, they're trying to push up. Oh, oh, flick pass, double flick pass. In we go. Stop oh. it. <laughs> Malcolm <laughs> Kenny with the first try of the day. And and they have they had a win 7-1 in their semi-final clash. So this afternoon at 4.40 on KO, as we go back to the action here and see CQ Bulls in for their second try. Looks like Bailey. But they're definitely looking a lot more comfortable now coming out of their box. We'll see Thompson. Ooh. Have we seen oh, an intercept no. there? <laughs> oh, and he's... Off and running. The chases are coming. The try line's coming sooner, I think. And we've got another try there. A, a double in the first seven or eight minutes. He's off to the other end of the field, Damon Moore. And this opens definitely opens the game up. As we we're going to see a try straight away. It's hard enough to defend with six, let alone with five. And we see once he gets moving, he's not, he's he's not coming off. So no, he he's staying okay. on there. And then we've got Bob, and it's oh, an intercept here. We're off down the sideline. We've got a chaser coming across. I think it is a try. Connor Edwards read it beautifully, got in a perfect spot, and then tucks it under the arms, and he was gone just minutes into the game. Yeah, it was unbelievable. First set of the game. But we see here CQ Bulls, there was an error, and that looks like it might be ball down, and we are all tied up. As we see here now, they're back in the action, the CQ Bulls, and they pop back inside. Nice. And that's a try, looks like, to Zane Cox. Well, uh, not much you could do about that last try from the Bulls there in defence for the Hornets, but really positive half-time talk that I just witnessed. Uh, they're prioritising their defence, and they want to get up and be really aggressive on those first two shots. They want to slow it down. Jack Rogers down on the other field and field two. There's a, a player from the Mets down, although he's up now. Uh, off the back of the field, so let's hope he's okay and, and that game gets back underway. Well, we see another intercept he here. Uh, Lennon. We've got Chris Lennon. He's off. He's got a say in pursuit, but Chris Lennon, ball down, finger pointing in the air. Yep, and the crowd noise you can hear there is because the Swans have scored again with five. Wow. So. Egerton makes a touch, but oh, the ball's been down. away, and that is Jamin Bob. Bob. And he's getting up slowly. He's got to try for his team. It's Not up here with no. you or I. <laughs> we know how important they are as we see Hornets into action. Drop back inside. Oh, they've played it Face. extremely close to the line, but we're going to see a try Squires. here, Des. What a finish by Liam Squires. What an absolute cracking game of touch footy. Lockie Crow there just couldn't quite execute. He was not square when he's rolled the ball. And... Hornets will get a measure of uh, retribution for the Bulls beating them in the grand final last year, but that was an absolute cracking game of touch footy. There's highlights in every minute of the game.